Singapore's urban landscape is constantly changing. Old houses are being replaced by high-rise buildings to maximize land. However, a historical building still stands amongst modern shopping centers and residential buildings. Nestled in the heart of Seaview Condominium, along Amber Road, the clubhouse has a history dating back to about 100 years. Restoration has enabled it to retain its rustic charm and majestic appearance. Well, the clubhouse, as you can imagine, uh, was not really a bungalow, a standalone bungalow by itself. In other words, it wasn't somebody's house as and of it itself. It was really an outhouse, or some people call it a pavilion, that was annexed to a much larger property that used to belong to the famous Elias brothers, right? And that was known as the Big House, number 31 Amber Road. In the 1990s, the entire property was put up for sale. New developers took charge and gave it a new lease of life. It was subsequently turned into a hotel called the Seaview Hotel. And unfortunately, the Seaview Hotel used the house as a storage. And then in 2002, a developer steps in and turned it into a residential condominium. And with the help of URA and the architect, they managed to restore it to its pristine condition at the moment. Preserving the building was challenging because of its antique structure. In-depth restoration had to be done for its use as a clubhouse. The bungalow's foundations also had to be reinforced to support an underground car park. The very nice main feature of the house is obviously the grand stair. I think it's Shanghai timber paneling all the way to the top floor. And it also has all the intricacy of the typical British colonial architecture with the influence of local Chinese Malay Peranakan and also a little bit of new Renaissance. The most gorgeous detail is the nautical themed detail on the stained glass window. It still has that inherent quality of an old grand mansion house. And I find the key thing to it is the beautiful Shanghai paneling, which Accidentally, I found that it is actually acoustically very, very well designed for playing the violin. So every now and then I would perhaps rent the place out to play the violin. But officially it is for parties, um, gatherings, tea parties and even games uh, such as mahjong or chess or a general meeting area. Well, a long time ago, before the war, I lived in Crescent Flats, which was a very iconic uh, crescent-shaped building, um, very near to the East Coast. But in the weekends, we were always invited over to a famous gentleman whose name was Ike Elias. He was a very generous old Jewish gentleman, and he loved company, and uh, we could go for a swim and have his nice curry lunch and so on. And uh, it was like open house on a Sunday, all his friends would come and chit-chat. And he loved regaling everybody with all these old stories. The Jewish community was very um, rich and uh, they were very kind and they used to help lots of other businesses. It's very important that we keep our heritage in Singapore for the next generations, you know, especially the uh, beach house. And so people should be able to enjoy it and not just for exclusive few. I think it should be available to the public sometimes. I think the preservation of all these heritage houses is very important for the future generation to get their bearings in place and for the future generation to even just walk past it and realise there's a piece of history within the, the, the development. I think conservation and preservation of our built heritage is extremely important because when you go to any new space, any new country or city, the most visible signs of its past, of its character and of its history is its built heritage. So when you have old buildings with character that, 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 that 
talks of the history of the space and of the people, uh, I think it is absolutely crucial that they be preserved as much as possible. They can be adapted for reuse. So uh, these are examples of how old buildings can be made and adapted to new users and still maintain that beautiful uh, facade and as well as the interiors that speaks of an earlier, uh, perhaps more gentle age. It is comforting to know that a part of our heritage is conserved here amongst the tall skyscrapers, office buildings and shopping centres in modern Singapore. This two-storey clubhouse holds many memories of Singapore's history and will remain for years to come.